when we lift panels, we can lift with a variety of lifting mechanisms. I've got a couple of different plates here um, made up in different forms and fashions. This lifting plate, you'll notice there's a piece of plywood attached to the bottom of it, bolted permanently to this. The reason we do that is so that the screws, when and this one doesn't run out, so it doesn't hold the screws as well. But with that piece of plywood, it'll actually hold on to the screws. So the guy up on the roof who's backing the screws out can leave the screws with the plate and they'll hold in place. We take the plate back down to the guy on the ground, he's got all the screws with him. And now you're like the NASCAR guy changing tires, you just hit the screws as fast as you can with your impact driver. I strongly recommend a hex drive. You go to a screw that's anything but a hex drive and you're probably going to be hating life. These don't strip out, they work really well. Number 10, coarse thread screw is what you want to use, okay? How many? You, you fill it up? 16 holes, 16 screws. <clears throat> that's what I tell them. How big a, how big a panel are you lifting in? Um, if I'm lifting a, a 4 by um, a 24 foot panel, um, I can comfortably do it with two plates. If I'm up into a jumbo size panel, 8 by 24, I'm lifting it with four plates. Um, the rated capacity of one of these panels, or one of these plates, is 500 pounds. Okay? You put the 16 screws in, you can lift as much as 500 pounds with the thing. All right? And, you know, and that's something first. you can buy. Can you buy it off the shelf or you buy it from the panel company? Uh, you can buy it from the panel companies. Yeah, and somebody's making those up. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah these, this one's actually made by. It's not like you're going to Google that and find it on the internet. You can buy them through SIP school though. You can go right to our store, store pension, our store, purchase them. Coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> now she knows what she needs to get busy on, right? It's so, yeah. cool stuff, you just can't have it. <laughs> it's really, you don't know where to get it. Yeah, a lot of things it's really you literally you buy them yourself. Uh, lifting plates again, they come in all forms and fashions. Um, that one's awfully heavy. The people who made that up were really nervous for some reason. <laughs> I need to get hit by that thing. Uh, the panel hooks, again, not for the untrained, but this is a way to literally put, use the panel to lift, um, use the hook to lift the panel. It goes right through the panel so that when it's buried, it's about like that, okay? All the way into the panel. Now you're lifting from below the top skin, which is it's not too far from the lifting plate, which you're lifting from the top of the top skin, okay? Uh, if you know how to set these, when you set these and he drives it in like this, then with the hook, the line is pulling that way, so it's actually pulling it further into the panel. Um, trust me, these don't just want to fall out. I never lost the panel by lifting with panel hooks, but some people don't like them at all. Um, 